everyone. This is Yui and Akira. This. In this episode, Akira-san will show you how to transform lovely salmon fillet into five different nigiri. Find your favorite and try it at home. Let's start off with making simple salmon nigiri. Here is cured salmon fillet we prepared in our previous episode. Now slice them in seven to eight millimeters width. Let's ask Akira-san to go slower now. Zooming in. Insert knife diagonally to salmon. Then, right before you cut it through, tilt the tip of your knife perpendicular to chopping board. When slicing fish for nigiri sushi, Akira-san uses this kobagaishi technique. By creating this cut, we call yane, it makes it easy for soy sauce to stay on the fish. Follow this simple five steps in prior to actual nigiri motion. This can be applied for sushi making with other fishes as well. Now step one, gently press and spread shali onto salmon. Today we're showing you honte gaishi. It's a hand motion where we use left thumb and two of right fingers like this. Now open up your hand and hold your sushi with right hand. Bring your left palm and cover the sushi. Twist your wrist so that shali side is facing up. Give a second press from the side and the top. Make sure to keep your left hand closed. Use those three fingers to shape sushi from the side. Now roll over your sushi towards the center of the palm and bring it back towards the base of your fingers, some side facing up. Form a box shape with your fingers and gently press side of sushi. Then the third nigiri motion. Always be gentle. Last thing you want is to compress your rice and make it into a sushi brick. Now rotate sushi with your left hand, 180. Make another box shape with your fingers and shape your sushi from the side. Honte gaishi usually consists of four nigiri hand motion. In Japanese, we say yonte. But Akira-san stopped at three today as sushi has been formed nicely. Salmon is soft, so it's relatively easy to make sushi with. Don't forget to paint nigiri soy sauce on the salmon. And then voila. Enjoy a mouthful of scrumptiousness. If you want to go for a refreshing touch, try this one, salt and citrus. Procedure is exactly the same as what we showed you just now, except that we flavor sushi with salt and our yuzu. Any salt is fine, but here we use Surashio coarse salt from Naoshima Island in Seto Naikai. Grab an our yuzu or citrus of your choice and use a grater to get some our yuzu zest. Then use a yakumi or set a wooden broom like scraper to sprinkle our yuzu on sushi. If you don't like wasabi spiciness, this is definitely a recipe for you. Enjoy a perfect balance of salmon's fattiness with crisp and refreshing citrus juice. Now let's give a little twist to our salmon and sear it. For those of you who've seen our last episode, you might remember this little strip of salmon we have kept. As we will cook this salmon, let's slice it larger compared to normal sushi neta. I would say it is about 7.5 cm in length. Put the pan on high heat, then pour in 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil. Place the salmon on the pan, then sear it for about 15 seconds. The key point is to keep one side raw and other side golden brown. When it starts looking like this, salmon is ready. Now, nigiri time! Face seared side up and do honte gaishi. Be extra careful as salmon is still hot. Brush nigiri soy sauce, then squeeze a dash of lemon. If you can find daikon, a Japanese radish, at your local store, grate it and place it on top of your salmon sushi. With a bit of nigiri soy sauce on top. Aburi, searing, makes salmon's fattiness burst in your mouth. It's definitely a must try. If you like tsuke, this soy sauce marinated salmon sushi is just for you. Place salmon on a small bowl on a plate with a dab and add nikiri soy sauce. 
For four slices of salmon, Akira-san poured about three tablespoons of nikiri. When making nigiri using marinated salmon, it's best to lightly towel dry before putting on shari as the salmon is pretty wet and soggy. As you know, there are three different styles of nigiri as below. Hontegaishi that we've been showing you, hotegaishi and tategaishi. We will make an episode for latte too in our future video. Coming back to the counter, you can use wasabi too, but for tsuke, Akira-san personally loves putting on karashi, Japanese mustard. Tsuke salmon goes well with anything spicy like ginger, or you can embellish with baby spring onion. Last recipe is a unique one, samotaku ohagi, minced salmon with takuam, pickled daikon radish. Let's start chopping 40 grams of salmon, preferably fatty apart as we will balance it out with refreshing pickle later. Mince them using your knife until it looks like this. Add 15 grams of takuan, pickled Japanese radish, and also a pinch of sesame too. If you don't have takuan, you can of course use other stuff like spring onion. We call this part this name as the end product will look like Japanese sweets ohagi, a rice cake covered with red beans. Now let's make nigiri with hontegaishi technique. Scoop up about 10 grams salmon, shape it, then depress the center like a hamburger patties. Minced salmon may look very difficult to handle, but it's actually not that bad if you stick to the basic step. For example, tezu, wetting hand with vinegar, is a must as minced salmon is super soft. Use your fingers and try to form your salmon round. Paint nikiri soy sauce with a brush, then sprinkle some sesame, and finally place baby spring onion on top, and voila! Cute and round shape with fun texture and most of all, harmony of flavor. It's definitely my favorite. はい。今日はコストコのサーモンで5種類のお寿司を作りました。美味しくできたと思います。皆さんいかがでしたでしょうか。どうぞ。ご家庭で楽しんでみてください。うん。めっちゃ美味しい。Thank you and ありがとう。